Okay, Figaholic friends, we're kind of wrapping up our fig cutting shipping for this season here. Um, we're hoping to finish this Saturday. Today's Thursday. Um, we already made a trip to the post office. The post office closes at um, 4.30, but we want them. they want us there by 4 o'clock. And so we're still packing orders tonight, and we'll do the labels tonight and try to get more done tomorrow. Um, the thir Saturday, rather, is a short shipping day for us since our post office is closed and um, we have to rely on when the carrier comes here to pick up so we can't ship too late. Um, we um, bought a, another computer, a standalone computer and brought our printer out from our home office. Actually bought another printer yesterday too so we don't have to move this back and forth. So for chestnut season we out in our pole barn we ship um, chestnuts and we're running back and forth too much to getting labels and um, made a nice table here um, four foot by eight foot plywood with supplies down below and uh, made a box for our envelopes with a faller we can adjust the thickness of that and as labels get used up and attached to fig cuttings. Um, I've used this um, stretch tight um, wrap and snap 7500 um, for a couple years. We have a second one because one year it broke on us and um, um, you have to do it thousands of times it wears out. Um, it's mounted to the table so we don't have to worry about stuff moving around. Um, Linda is out calling orders. She's got a Motorola headset there. Oh, she's talking in my ear now. So I'm usually in full time in the walk-in and I got gloves with heat packs in there so my hands don't get cold. My friend Amy first sent me some heat packs that help warm me up. And I say heat packs, it's these things here. We got, I got larger ones though because I still wasn't warm enough. I was trying to stick two of them in there but they were bunching up. So I got larger ones in there. So um, we improved our our shed, I'm still not good. I need to put um, a steel roof here, but we don't have any leaks. Um, but we did, you see, put plastic bags over our uh, electronics just in case it started leaking. Uh, so these are cuttings that will go back in the walk-in. These are orders already packed for shipping tomorrow. And we're going to work until 6 o'clock tonight um, out here packing, and then we're going to work on labels, um, postal labels, and um, also we have to print more orders. We have, I don't know, about a hundred more orders to print. So but right now, um, Luis, our full-time worker, he's pulling cuttings while I'm yakking on this video here. And um, we're staying safe. He's masked. Linda and I already had COVID um, in June, um, so, and we believe we have immunity. Um, I'm not 100% positive, but very close to 100%. Um, a study in London or England did a study of over 11,000 healthcare professionals that had been infected, and um, when they were retested, seven and eight months later, zero out of over 11,000 were infected, while 5.9% of asymptomatic random population sample were infected. So um, I think that's very statistically valid that over one in 10,000 chance they read. So anyway, we're trying to get all the orders out. It's been a long season. We had um, 1,589 orders, I think. So anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for your patience while we work and get your orders out. Everyone stay safe and happy figging.